Welcome to my fishing guide. In the first section we're gonna go over is why do you want to get fishing up? First of all, a reason why you may want to get your fishing up is for quests. There are quite a few quests in the game that require a certain level of fishing. Here is a list of them, ranging from 5 fishing all the way up to 62 fishing. Some of these quests are required for bigger quests that have big rewards. Firminic Exiles is needed to use a Nezanot face guard, and Swan Song is required to fish monkfish. Just to name a few of the benefits you get from doing these quests. Another reason why you may want to get your fishing up is for achievement diaries. So there are requirements for achievement diaries ranging from 15 fishing all the way up to 96 fishing. The benefits that you get from achievement diaries are numerous. The third reason why you may want to get your fishing up is for money. I'll say right now, fishing is not a great source of money compared to other money makers in the game, but there are still a couple methods that will get you a little bit of money and can be very AFK so you can do on a side account while playing your main account if that is something that you're interested in. Another reason to get your fishing up is uh, to get resources, to get fish. If you're an Iron Man and you need food to heal you up during bosses and Slayer, fishing is a great way to get food. And then lastly, of course, you may want to get your fishing up because you want to finish all skills and get the max cape or you just want to get a 99 and you want to get 99 fishing and get that fishing cape. Next up, we're going to talk about the equipment in fishing. So first off, the very basic equipment, there's different fishing rods, uh, lobster cages, harpoons, from feathers to fishing bait to dark fishing bait. All of this stuff can be bought for usually a couple GP off of the ground exchange or from various fishing shops around the game. Different fishing methods use different tools. Next, we're going to talk about some of the higher level equipment. First up is the dragon harpoon. This requires 61 fishing to use, 60 attack to wield. This harpoon gives you a 20% better catch rate than a regular harpoon. Of course, it only gives you that boost on fish that you fish with the harpoon. The dragon harpoon also has a special attack and that raises your fishing level by three levels. You don't have to be in combat to use a special. Next is the infernal harpoon. This is a variation of the dragon harpoon. It requires 75 fishing and 85 cooking to use. It requires 60 attack to wield. Just like the dragon harpoon, it gives a 20% better catch rate than regular harpoons. It also has the same special attack. It gives a plus three fishing boost. An additional benefit that this has over the dragon harpoon is that, is that it has a one in three chance of dissolving the fish that you're catching and giving you half the cooking XP that you would have gotten for cooking that food. So it means you have to drop less fish and you get cooking XP while doing it. Next, we have the crystal harpoon. This is the best harpoon in the game as far as catch rate. So it requires 71 fishing and Song of the Elves to use. It also requires 70 attack to wield. This has a 35% better catch rate than a regular harpoon. The special gives a plus three fishing boost, just like the previous two harpoons. This does require charging. So every time you catch one fish, one charge will be used and one crystal shard will give 100 charges to it. Next is the Rada's Blessing. You get this from completing the Korand Diary. What this does is it gives a chance of fishing an extra fish while fishing. The chance depends on which blessing you have. So if you have blessing one, it gives you a 2% chance. A blessing two, 4%, three, six, and blessing four is an 8% chance of catching an extra fish. Fishing has an outfit that gives you bonus XP. This is called the Angler Outfit. So it provides up to a 2.5% XP boost. Each piece of the equipment gives a small boost. And when you have the entire set, it gives you an additional 0.5% boost. And you get the Angler Outfit from the Fishing Trawler or Aerial Fishing. There are wieldable rods that you can obtain from Aerial Fishing, the Pearl Fishing Rod, Pearl Fly Fishing Rod, and the Pearl Barbarian Rod. These do not increase your catch rate or anything. They're just the same as their regular version. The only difference is that you can wield these, so that saves you one inventory space. And then finally, the last item we're gonna talk about are Admiral Pies. There are a couple different things that give you fishing boosts, but I would say this is probably the best item for fishing boosts. It provides a plus five fishing level boost, and they're extremely cheap, so you can use them pretty easily. So how does fishing work? It's pretty simple. You just go to a fishing location. You bring the required equipment, so either like a fishing rod and bait or a fly fishing rod and feathers, etc. Uh, you click on the spot and then you sit there and wait and your account fishes. And then if you dig a little bit deeper, you have the tick system. So once you click on a fishing spot, what happens is 
there is a role of whether you catch a fish or you don't catch a fish. And that role happens every five ticks or sometimes six ticks or seven ticks. Different spots have a bit different timing. One tick is 0.6 seconds. So that means five ticks is three seconds. Your fishing level affects the probability of whether that is gonna be a successful roll and you get a fish or whether it's a fail and you don't get a fish. Other items such as the dragon harpoon, crystal harpoon, those things raise your probability of it being a successful roll. People have found methods to cheat the system where you can actually make it two ticks, three ticks, four ticks, depending on what you do. So the most well-known tick manipulation that people use right now is called three tick. People will use a herb and tar or they will use a log and knife um, and start some sort of three tick action and then click on a fishing spot before that action completes and it'll actually complete the action on the fishing spot. It's a little confusing. You don't really need to understand though. Just know that it speeds up your fishing a lot, but it is a lot more click intensive. Now we get to actually leveling your fishing and how you should go about that. So starting out, uh, this is level one to 47. I'll give two paths you can go about this. So the efficient route and the alternate route. For the efficient route is gonna be mostly questing. So you wanna start off with first doing a sea slug quest that takes about five minutes or less. That will give you 7,175 fishing XP, which will get you from level one all the way up to 24 fishing instantly. Next, do fishing contest. That once again is a super quick quest taking about five minutes or less. That will get you from 24 to 26 fishing. And then third, you wanna do Taibo Wane Trio, which is about a 30 minute quest or quicker. If you're an Iron Man, you're gonna to have to skip out on this quest. It's not as important as the previous two. It will get you from 26 to 30 fishing. Number four, you wanna go from 30 to 47 fishing through three tick trout and salmon, which should take about 90 minutes. You'll have to catch about 1,200 fish for those levels. For trout and salmon, you'll need a fly fishing rod and you'll need 1,200 feathers for those 1,200 fish. So in order to three tick fish, it, it is kind of hard to get the timing down, but the actual actions are pretty simple. You wanna bring something that starts a three tick action. One thing you can use is a guam, a pestle and mortar, and a swamp tar. You use your guam on the swamp tar. That will start making a guam tar, which is a three tick action. Once you've started making the tar, you want to click on the fishing spot. Then you may or may not get a fish, but after three ticks have passed since you initially started making the tar, you want to again click on the herb and then click on the tar and click on the fishing spot. Just repeat that cycle every 1.8 seconds. When you're higher levels, it becomes a bit easier to tell the timing because you'll usually get a fish and when you get a fish, you know that the cycle has ended and you need to do it again. When you're a lower level and you don't get the fish, so it is a little bit harder, but just try and get in the rhythm of three ticks and you wanna make sure you stay in that rhythm. So the alternate route for starting out is from level one to 20 fishing, you want to fish shrimp. You wanna do this over in Draenor Village. You'll need a small fishing net and this should take about an hour and a half to complete. Once you hit 20 fishing, you wanna move on to trout fishing. For this, you'll need a fly fishing rod and feathers. A common location to do this at is Barbarian Village. You'll want to do trout from level 20 to 47 fishing. Doing this in the fairly AFK manner should take about three hours. efficient 47 to 99 fishing up next you're going to start out from level 47 to 58 doing drift net fishing from 58 to 99 you're going to switch over to barbarian fishing for drift net fishing the requirements are 44 hunter 47 fishing bone voyage trident of the seas or a merfolk trident and stamina potions the XP rates you should be expecting if you're doing this efficiently is 40k fishing XP per hour and 80k hunter XP per hour. To go from level 47 to 58 fishing is going to take about 3 hours and 45 minutes. In that time you're also going to get 300k hunter XP. You do have to use supplies to do this method and you get a little bit of fish back so you break about even using this method. Drift net fishing you want to make sure you got all your supplies, staminas, numelite, a trident, drift nets, uh, fishbowl helmet, di diving apparatus, and flippers, and weight reducing gear would be good. So once you got all your stuff, you want to dive in the rowboat. You want to head north from here, 
Uh, you're gonna have to pay 200 Numlite to get in, or you can pay 20,000 for permanent access. I'm gonna go ahead and pay 200. So uh, head in here, and then actually you pay 200 per day. So I've already paid today, so I don't have to pay again. Um, so once you have paid, you're in here, you wanna go through the door. Uh, once you are at, past the door, you want to wield your trident. So yes, I'm going to go ahead and wield it. Uh, this person can hold nets, so I'm gonna go ahead and store these nets in here. You can bring them noted form. Uh, then you can withdraw them in noted form or with or not noted form. So I'm gonna go ahead and withdraw five. So once you've done that, you wanna go ahead and set up some of these nets. And then you just basically click on these things and it scares them into the nets. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up this other net and chase full, chase fish shoal. Um, yeah, essentially just click on them like this. Uh, you want to prioritize the ones that are close to the nets. Um, at the same time, you want to move between rooms. So if I've clicked on everything in this room, I'm going to move down into this room and click on these really quickly before I move on to this room. Uh, then if there were some in here, I would click on them in here, but there's none in there. So I'm going to just move back here, start click on, clicking on these and get these into the net. Um, pretty easy. So you want to stand in this spot. You want to be quick. You want to harvest. Uh, harvest the net, bank, bank all, and then set it right back up and then continue going. From 58 to 99 fishing, you're going to be doing three tick barbarian fishing. This is not the fastest XP in the game, but it is pretty close. And the reason why it's the most efficient is because you get bonus agility XP and strength XP. The minimum level requirement for this is 48 fishing. We're not going to be doing this until 58 though, of course. You also have to have started the barbarian training. So the XP rates that you can expect from this training method are 70 to 115k XP per hour. At the lower levels, it's going to be on the lower end and the higher levels, the higher end, of course. The total time from 58 to 99 should take about 135 hours. In that time, you should get 1.15 million agility XP and you should get 1.15 million strength XP. This method, you don't make any money. For this method, the location is just south of Barbarian Assault at Otto's Grotto. You're gonna want your Barbarian Rod, Feathers, an Angler Outfit if you have one, an item to do three ticks. So for me in this clip, I have a Guam, a Swamp Tar, and a Pestle and Mortar. There are a couple other things you can bring instead, but I like the Guam, especially if you're a beginner. The Guam is good because uh, you can bring multiple Guam, just make sure there's only one cleaned and the other ones are grimy. And that way if you mess up and you accidentally make Guam tar, you, you can just clean one of your grimy Guams and then you are set to go and you don't have to run to the bank. In this clip, I am three tick fishing. So to do that, you have to be in a three tick cycle. Three ticks is 1.8 seconds. You click on your Guam, you click on your swamp tar, and then you click on the fishing spot. And you just repeat that cycle every 1.8 seconds. And you wanna make sure that you are in that rhythm, doing those three actions every three ticks. It will take some getting used to to get the timing down, but once you get it down, it's pretty easy. And if you need a more detailed explanation, I'm gonna go ahead and link down in the description a more in-depth guide to three tick fishing. Let's go ahead and get into the AFK methods that you can use to train up your fishing. First off, we have fishing trawler, and this isn't really a way to train up your fishing. I would highly recommend not to do this for training, but it is pretty AFK. It only requires 15 fishing. It can be up to 5k XP per hour and potentially up to 100k GP per hour. There are much better methods though. I'm gonna say that right now. Don't do this for training or for money. Uh, the reason why you wanna do fishing trawler is to obtain the angler outfit you have a one in eight chance of obtaining a piece that you don't already have every time you finish a game. It should take about seven hours to get your full angler outfit. The fishing trawler is located at Port Cazard, so you can just look that up on your map to find the location. There is a general store just south of where you start the mini game that sells uh, pretty much everything that you need. So you're gonna wanna buy a bailing bucket, you're gonna wanna buy swamp tar, and you're gonna wanna buy a few ropes. Then you just board the boat and you wait until the next game starts. There are dedicated worlds for fishing trawler, so you want to find the world on the world hopper that says fishing trawler, go to that world. Each game takes about 10 minutes. There are waiting times between games though, so in total it 
it is a bit longer than 10 minutes per game. When the game starts, basically you just want to sit there and repair holes uh, down in like the basement or the hole of the ship. You can also go up top and fix the nets, but most people just stay down below and spam click or wait for holes to open up and then fix those. Once there's water uh, leaking in, uh, you can bail the water out with your bailing bucket. There's an activity bar, so you want to make sure your activity bar doesn't go down to zero. And that's pretty much all there is to the fishing trawler. The next AFK method we're going to talk about are lobsters. Lobsters require 40 fishing. Uh, it's about 120 to 300 lobsters an hour or about 11 to 28k XP per hour. It is 30 to 65k GP per hour and it's recommended to bring angler outfit uh, and Rada's blessing if you have those. There are many different locations to fish lobsters. A common one is on Karamja by the banana plantation. Uh, there's the fishing guild, there's Catherby, and many other locations. There are much better methods, so once again, I wouldn't really recommend using this method. Next, we just have regular AFK barbarian fishing. This method requires at least 48 fishing, 15 agility, and strength. You can expect about 40 to 65k fishing XP an hour, and about 3.6 to 5.9k agility and strength XP per hour. It's recommended to have the angler outfit, uh, a dragon harpoon for the fishing boost. The location to do barbarian fishing is just south of barbarian assault at the Otto's Grotto. There's also a location by Chambers of Zarek. You'll need a barbarian fishing rod and feathers. If you want a fast but AFK training method, this is the method for you. It is fairly AFK, not super AFK, but fairly AFK, and it is pretty good XP an hour for how AFK it is. Along with that, you get free agility and free strength XP. Next, we have swordfish. So this requires 50 fishing and a harpoon. It's about 220 to 545 swordfish an hour. And so about 20 to 50K XP per hour, 40 to 100K GP per hour. It's recommended that you have a dragon, infernal, or crystal harpoon. For this, you get the boost, the plus three fishing boost from the special attack and you get the special effect of the harpoon because you're fishing something that requires a harpoon. It's also recommended to have a Rada's Blessing if you're banking the swordfish and an angler outfit for the bonus XP. There are many different locations to fish swordfish, to name a few of them. Uh, Catherby, the Fishing Guild, and Piscarilius are pretty common places to fish swordfish. Assuming you have a crystal harpoon, this is the second fastest method for XP out of the AFK methods, and it is even more AFK than barbarian fishing. The next AFK method we have are Karambwans. These require 65 fishing, a Taibawanai trio quest completed. You need a Karambwan vessel and Karambwan G. Also, you pretty much need fairy rings, otherwise it's going to be extremely slow and not worth it at all. The method is about 390 to 780 Karambwans per hour, 20 to 40k XP per hour, and 150 to 300k GP per hour. It's recommended to have Rada's Blessing, uh, the Angler Outfit, and Karambjan Gloves for our nice banking method. For this method, you're going to have to catch Karambwanji yourself. Karambwanji can be caught in a lake just north of Shiloh Village. You use a small fishing net to catch them and they are extremely fast to catch. Once you have yourself some Karambwanji, you can head to the actual Karambwan fishing location. You're gonna need a Karambwan vessel and your Karambwanji is... You're gonna to get to the fishing location by using fairy rings. So you're gonna use the code DKP. That will take you right next to the fishing location. Once your inventory is full, I would recommend using Karamjan Gloves 4 to bank at the gem mine if you have those. If you don't have them, you can just use like a dueling ring to teleport to Castle Wars and bank there and then teleport back with fairy rings. The quickest fairy rings being the Legends Guild fairy ring if you have a Legends Cape or the fairy ring inside your house if you have one in your house. Third, you have the fairy ring outside of the Slayer Caves if you have a Slayer ring. The next method we're going to talk about is monkfish. This method requires 62 fishing, swan song quest complete, and a small fishing net. You can expect to catch about 205 to 375 monkfish per hour. It is 25 to 46k XP per hour, and if you're banking the monkfish, about 65 to 120k GP per hour. Recommended is to bring an angler outfit and Rada's blessing. 
and a dragon harpoon for the special attack boost. If the fishing location for these is in Piscator's fishing colony. So this is northwest of the gnome stronghold. This method is quite AFK and it is kind of like middle of the road for XP. It's not super slow, but it's not quick either. The next AFK method we're talking about is shark. This requires 76 fishing and a harpoon. It's about 150 to 170 shark an hour. You can expect about 15 to 20k XP per hour and about 92 to 104 k GP per hour. It's recommended to bring a dragon or a crystal harpoon, Arata's blessing and the angler outfit. This method is super AFK, but it is very slow XP per hour. You might expect that you would be making good money from this method, but you don't. You don't make good money at all. The only reason I would ever recommend someone do this method is if they are an Iron Man that wants shark and some fishing XP, and they want to do it super AFK. That is the only reason I would do this method. There are a few different fishing spots. To name a few, Fishing Guild, Catherby, and Jatizo. The next AFK method we're talking about is Infernal Eels. This method requires 80 fishing, and an oily fishing rod, a hammer, and fishing bait. You can expect to catch about 287 to 375 eels per hour. This comes out to 27 to 37k XP per hour and 224 to 292 kgp per hour. It's recommended that you have a dragon harpoon for the special attack which gives you a plus 3 fishing boost, Rada's blessing, and the angler outfit. The fishing location for these are located in the Tizar city, and to access it, it requires a fire cape. This method is super AFK with lower end XP rates, but a bit better GP rates. Although the GP is still pretty low compared to methods outside of fishing. I would recommend this method for someone who wants a super AFK method for fishing that also makes them a little bit of money. Ironmen also like this method because it allows them to get lava shards without having to go into the wilderness. Also the eels that you get you turn into loot and a lot of that is alkable so for Ironmen this is a, an alright AFK method to get cash. This method is pretty much the same as other fishing methods except for the fact that you have to use your hammer on the eels that you catch and then that turns it into loot. The eels themselves have no purpose other than just turning them into loot with a hammer. Next, we're going to talk about anglerfish. This method requires 82 fishing, 100% Piscarellius favor, sandworms, and a fishing rod. You can expect 80 to 150 raw anglerfish per hour, which is about 10 to 18k XP per hour. And it's about 130 to 240k GP per hour. It's recommended that you have the rod as blessing, the angler outfit, and a dragon harpoon for the fishing level boost. The fishing location for anglerfish is located at the northern section of the Piscarellius house on the Great Corend or Zaya. This is another method that is extremely AFK uh, but is low XP per hour but you do make a fair bit of money compared to other fishing methods. Next up we're going to talk about dark crab. So this fishing method requires 85 fishing, uh, a lobster cage, dark fishing bait. You can catch from 125 to 410 dark crabs per hour. So 16 to 50k XP per hour, uh, and that is 130 to 420k GP per hour. This method takes place in the wilderness where other players can attack and kill you, so it's recommended that you have high defense, HP, high healing food, and good armor, and a lockpick. It's also strongly recommended that you finish the Wilderness Elite Diary before doing this method because the Wilderness Elite Diary gives you a huge boost to your catch rate at the Dirt Crabs. This is my personal favorite as far as the AFK methods for fishing because the fishing spot never moves and never depletes so it's extremely AFK. You click on the fishing spot once and you will fish until you have a full inventory. At which point you can turn your fish into noted fish at the NPC located right next to the fishing spot. And then you just click back on the fishing spot and once again AFK until you have a full inventory. It is good XP per hour and good GP per hour compared to the previous methods. Assuming that you have the diary done. So it is good in every category. In order to escape PKers, there's a couple things you can do. You can try and make it over to the lever and teleport out if they don't TB you. Uh, you can try and get a box on the hellhounds. I'd say the best way though is to come over here to this place, uh, pick lock on this door, and head in here. There's a bunch of magical axes that are aggressive. 
So you can just sit in here and then you can get a box on one of these magic axes and usually they'll leave. Uh, you want to drink your Cerdum and Brews if you brought those with you so you don't kill these as well. So you can just sit and box it um, and then they'll usually leave. If they don't leave, you can X-Log, which means you, uh, you brew your stats down to basically like level one attack and one strength. And then you just exit out of your client while attacking a magical axe. That should save you just about all of the time. The final AFK method that we're talking about is Sacred Eels. These require 87 fishing. They require a fishing rod, a fishing bait, a knife. You can just expect to get about 180 to 270 eels per hour, which is about 19 to 29k fishing XP per hour. Along with that, you're going to get 20 to 33k cooking XP per hour and 150 to 395k GP per hour. It's recommended that you have a dragon harpoon for the fishing level special attack boost, uh, as well as the angler outfit and the Rada's blessing. The fishing location for these is located at the area where you kill Zolra. This is south of Tyra's camp or Priv or the Ironworth camp. It's over in the area that you go through while doing the regicide quest. So at least starting regicide is required. With this method you fish eels and then you use a knife on them which turns them into Zolra skills. This method is pretty AFK. Uh, the XP per hour once again is quite low but the GP that you can gain from this is decent. It depends on your fishing level and your cooking level. So this method is good for anyone who's looking for an AFK method that makes them money and gets them a little bit of fishing XP. Also, Ironmen like to do this method uh, for some AFK Zolra skills. Next, we're gonna talk about the fast methods to get your fishing level up. All of these are very click intensive, so if you're looking for something AFK, these are not the methods for you, but they will get you to 99 fishing or whatever your fishing goal is extremely quick. The first method we're going to talk about is two tick swordfish. So this method requires 50 fishing and a harpoon. Uh, the XP rates range from 65 to 135k XP per hour. So this is in fact the fastest method in the game purely for fishing XP. It is about 750 to 1500 fish per hour. Highly recommended that you have a dragon or infernal harpoon or a crystal harpoon for this method Otherwise, it's going to take a big hit to the XP. It's also recommended to have an angler set Not only is this the fastest method in the game for fishing XP It's also the best method for the pet if you care about fishing XP and pets This is the most efficient method to go about your fishing the reason why in the efficient section of this video, barbarian fishing was listed as the efficient method to get up to 99. The reason for that is because it's not assumed that you care about pets and barbarian fishing gives you strength and agility XP as well as fishing XP. So that bonus agility XP makes it better than this method overall. It all depends on what your priorities are and what you care about. If all you care about is fishing XP, this method is faster than barbarian fishing. So how you do this method is you go up to the northern section of the Piscarilius house area and there are some swordfish spots up there. You want to attack two rats and get them to be attacking you. You want to wield a bow and turn auto retaliate on and make sure you have no ammo. So that way you can auto retaliate without actually attacking. Then you want to make sure that the two rats are attacking at two tick intervals. Once you have the rats attacking at two tick intervals, then all you do is click on the fishing spot and then you can either wait for your character to auto retaliate and then click back on the fishing spot. Or what I like to do to help me keep the rhythm better is I like to either drop a fish or click on the ground or something to stop the fishing animation and then wait for the auto retaliate and then click back on the fishing spot. The next method we're going to talk about is aerial fishing. So this method is very quick for XP overall, but purely fishing XP, it's not super great. This is a hunter plus fishing XP method mixed together, and it is extremely click intensive. It requires 43 fishing and 35 hunter for the lowest level stuff. Um, it also requires king worms or fish chunks as bait. The XP rates range from 18 to 63k fishing XP per hour plus 26 to 82k hunter XP per hour. You can obtain the angler outfit from this method. Uh, you can also get the wieldable fishing rods. You can get the fish sack, which is just a cosmetic item. And you can get the golden tench as well, which is a cosmetic item. For this method, you want to go to Mulch Island, which is southeast of the farming guild on Zaya. Once there, you want to speak to the NPC and you'll get a bird, which you use to catch fish 
with this method. What you want to do is just walk as close as you can to the water and then click on the various little circle fishing spots that are located all over in the water. And you want to do that as quick as possible. You can move before your bird returns to you after you send it out. And getting as close as you possibly can to the next fishing spot is uh, the way to maximize your XP here. You don't want to send the bird when you're far away from the fishing spot. Next, we have two tick monkfish. This requires 62 fishing, swan song complete, and a small fishing net. It's also required to have a dragon spear or a Zamorakian spear that you can use to push the monsters that we're gonna use for this method out of their regular area. It's 110 to 123K XP per hour. You can expect 894 to about 1,000 monkfish per hour. It's recommended that you have a dragon, infernal, or crystal harpoon for the special attack, which gives a plus three fishing boost, the angler outfit, Rada's blessing if you're banking the monkfish, and runes to set a spell to autocast or mage defense gear or prayer potions. So how you go about this method, uh, over to the west of the bank, there is a house that has a whole bunch of skeletal mage mages in it. You wanna go in there and you wanna find which ones have an attack range over to the fishing spot. You can do that by attacking them and then going over to the fishing spot and seeing if they're still attacking you. If they stop attacking you, they lose aggression. And that means that their attack range doesn't go over to the fishing spot. So once you have the ones that will continue attacking you all the way over to the fishing spot, you wanna use a Zamorakian spear or a dragon spear to push them out of the house and then over to the fishing spot. They have a weird mechanic where they will not go back to the house and they're like stuck in the spot that you push them to unless you don't interact with them for like five minutes. But as long as you're interacting with them in some way, then they will stay in that square. You can teleport out to recharge your prayer or bank the fish or get whatever you need at the bank, come back and they will still be in the same square as long as it took you less than five minutes. Just like the rats on the two tick swordfish method, you want to make sure you get two of them and they are uh, attacking at a two tick cycle interval. Once you have that going, then you just go and click on the fishing spot, uh, then wait for your character to auto retaliate and click back on the fishing spot. Once again, like the swordfish, I like to either drop a fish or click on the ground or something to stop the fishing action so that my character will more reliably auto retaliate and I can see that animation, which helps me keep the rhythm going without messing it up. Another thing you can do is you can bring spells to auto cast a spell such as air strike or fire strike or something like that. Rather than having them attack you, uh, you click on the fishing spot and then you click on the skeleton mage and then you click back on the fishing spot and you just repeat that over and over at a two tick rhythm. That will work as well. The next method is two tick shark. This requires 76 fishing and a harpoon. Uh, the XP rates are about 50 to 68k XP per hour. You can expect about 450 to 600 shark an hour, although you don't want to bank them. It's recommended that you have a dragon, infernal, or crystal harpoon. If you don't have those, uh, the XP rates are going to take a big hit. It's also recommended to have an angler outfit. This is the best method to get the giant shark. It is possible to get a little bit faster shark per hour at the minnows, but the minnows do not provide a chance at the giant shark. This is also a very good method to get the heron pit. I think it is the second best method. In order to do this method, you want to go to Apatol, and then just slightly southwest of Awagi near the agility course is a fishing spot. You want to attack two birds, get them so that they are attacking you in a two tick interval, just like with the swordfish and the rats. Once you have them attacking you in a two tick interval, you want to make sure that you have a magic shortbow equipped on rapid with no ammo in your ammo slot, auto retaliate on, and then you just click on the fishing spot, let your character auto retaliate, click on the fishing spot again, and just repeat that over and over. Like I said with the previous methods, I like to either drop something or click on the ground so that that interrupts the fishing animation and allows the character to always auto retaliate. And then you can just follow the animation of the auto retaliation and click on the fishing spot as soon as your character auto retaliates. Next is two tick anglerfish. Uh, so this requires 82 fishing, 100% Piscirilius favor, a fishing rod, sandworms, and runes to auto cast a spell. It's also necessary to have a friend or an alt account to do this method. 
Uh, the XP rates are about 30 to 50k XP an hour. Uh, the fish, you can expect about 250 to 400 anglerfish per hour. It's recommended to have a dragon, inferno, or crystal harpoon for the for the special attack that gives a plus three fishing boost. Uh, also recommended to have an angler outfit. Also Arata's blessing for the extra fish, assuming that you're banking. This method isn't necessarily fast XP, but it is a lot of anglerfish per hour. It's way better than the regular AFK uh, anglerfish method. So if you're an Iron Man and you need to bank anglerfish for some reason, this will speed it up a lot. So how you set it up is you have your alt account or your friend go a little southwest of the anglerfish fishing area and there should be some rat spawns. You want to have the account attack one of the rats, get the rat attacking them, and then they'll bring the rat over to the anglerfish fishing spot and they'll just sit there with the rat attacking them and what you want to do is you want to have a spell set to auto cast. You want to click on the rat, then click on the fishing spot and then repeat that over and over every two ticks and that will allow you to two tick fish anglerfish. The final method that we're talking about today is two tick dark crabs. This requires 85 fishing, a lobster pot, dark fishing bait, coins, runes to auto cast a spell. Uh, the XP rates are from 44 up to 130k XP per hour. You can expect about 340 to 1,100 dark crab an hour. It's recommended to have a Rada's Blessing, high defense and HP, good armor and food, the Wilderness Elite Diary done, lockpick, and a slash item. The Wilderness Elite is highly recommended. If you don't have that done, it's gonna severely reduce how effective this method is. So not only is this method almost as fast as fastest method of two tick swordfish, it is also pretty profitable at about 1 mil GP per hour at the higher ends. It's the best method to get 22 HP food on an Iron Man, and it is pretty decent for the pet. However, this method is in the wilderness, so if there are a lot of PKers, that can really hurt this method because you may end up dying a lot of the time. However, if you know how to escape, it is usually pretty easy to escape, assuming that you have high defense, HP, good armor, and some food with you. This method is pretty simple. You just go to the resource area in the wilderness. This is east of the mage arena and the lever. Inside the resource area, you want to attack a rune golem and then you want to set it up behind the rocks as you see in this clip. And then you want to have a spell set to auto cast. You want to click on the rune golem, click on the fishing spot, and then repeat that every two ticks. That will allow you to two tick dark crabs. When your inventory is full, you just run over to the NPC and he'll note the dark crabs for you. In order to escape PKs, there's a couple things you can do. You can try and make it over to the lever and teleport out if they don't TB you. Uh, you can try and get a box on the hellhounds. I'd say the best way though is to come over here to this place, uh, pick lock on this door, and head in here. There's a bunch of magical axes that are aggressive. So you can just sit in here and then you can get a box on one of these magic axes. And usually they'll leave. Uh, you want to drink your cerebral and brews if you brought those with you so you don't kill these as well. So you can just sit and box it. Um, and then they'll usually leave. If they don't leave, you can X log, which means you uh, you brew your stats down to basically like level one attack and one strength. And then you just exit out of your client while attacking a magical axe. That should save you just about all of the time. So here I put the information down in some graph forms. So first of all, we have the fishing XP an hour versus method. So it's just a simple graph with each method and what the XP per hour is for that method. This gives it a little bit of a visual representation of just how much better some methods are than other methods. So if all you care about is fishing XP per hour, then of course you'd want to pick the method on here that is the highest. Next we move on to fishing XP an hour versus method, but this only includes the AFK method. So if you're someone that wants to AFK, here's a visual representation of the speed of each method out of those AFK methods. If you want to AFK and you still want the fastest XP per hour that you can get while AFKing, you would want to go with the highest on this list, which is AFK barbarian fishing. Here is a graph of profit versus method. So we have each method listed and the profit that you get from that method. So if all you care about is making some money from fishing, you'd want to pick the highest from this list. Next, we have profit and hour versus method, including only the AFK methods. So if you want an AFK method and you care about money, you'd want to pick the highest on this list, which is AFK dark crabs. Next, we have EHP versus method. And EHP stands for efficient hours played. 
which is essentially a way to measure how efficiently you're playing. So the rates used to calculate this were 135,000 XP per hour for fishing, 85K XP per hour for agility, 320K XP per hour for strength, and 240,000 XP per hour for hunter. And in the end, three tick barbarian was the highest, just very slightly with um, two tick swordfish coming in very close at second. Drift net fishing and two tick dark crabs were very close to two tick swordfish. If you care about money, uh, dark crabs would probably be the highest here. And finally, I did one last graph, which was fishing plus profit EHP an hour versus method. For this calculation, the fishing XP per hour was set at 135,000 XP per hour. It only counted fishing XP, so this didn't include hunter or strength or agility XP. And the efficient GP per hour was set at 3 million GP per hour. So this would apply to someone who only cares about fishing XP and GP. And from this, you can see that the best thing to do if you're that type of person is to do two tick dark crabs. The next up would be two tick swordfish, meaning that the profit an hour you get from the other methods don't make up for the difference in XP. Two tick monkfish is up there as well. Pretty close to two tick swordfish. That is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helped you out in your fishing grind and I hope you get that 99 or if you already have 99 and for some reason you are watching this video, hopefully this helps you decide on which method you wanna do in the future. If you're going for 200 mil or something, go ahead and hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, leave a comment and I'll see you guys next time.